Well, our first race at Plumpton are around uh, half an hour away, but there's already been racing taking place on the track today. There was a, uh, a pony race that took place, what, about uh, just over 10 minutes ago now. You can see the 11 runners and riders uh, heading off down to the start in some quite familiar colours as well. That's them all circling down at the start. So they've probably got about, uh, I guess, two furlongs or so to run here. Yep. And they're just about to come into line, so let's uh, go down to uh, Plumpton and uh, catch up with Simon Holt, who's got the call. On furlong marker, might be a bigger test of stamina. I think they're away with Galloping Goring in the orange sleeves, beginning well, and Little Bucks in the red sleeves. These are the two leaders, chased by the Gifford Flyer in red and white, and then the Ditchling Tea Room, and followed on the far side by Fairy Flicker, and running on a bit is Stanley in dark blue, but Galloping Goring and Gemma Pallet are clear here, and Galloping Glory is going to gallop them into the ground in the Moorcroft Shetland Pony Gold Cup. Galloping Goring beats the Gifford Flyer. Stanley was third. Uh, some of them still riding a finish, followed home by the Ditchling Tea Room and Little Bucks. So number 11, Galloping... So as Galloping Goring, who goes on to win. There's Claude Duval, the punter's pal, making the uh, presentations on the back of it. So Galloping Goring was the winner. Gemma Pallet was the winning jockey, and after she received that uh, trophy, other rosette from Claude, she spoke to Gina. Well, we've already had our first race here at Plumpton. It was the Shetland Pony race, and it was won in brilliant fashion by Gemma here. That looked easy. Yeah, he led all the way, bless her. He did, and he won well, didn't he? Yeah, he's, he's really fast. <laughs> Were you expecting that beforehand? Um, no, not really. And is he one of your regular rides? Yeah, he's been my ride all season. Brilliant. And you've won a few races on him, I imagine? Um, yeah, he's qualified for Olympia, which is this December. Fantastic. So we'll have to work, watch out for you then. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Gemma. Obviously a big fan of the ponies. You do a lot of pony racing? Um, yeah, I do Shetland racing mainly. I'm 13 years old and I come from Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire, brilliant. Same as me. Brilliant. And you want to be a jockey when you're older? Um, yeah, I have wanted to be one since I was tiny. So about six years old, I've wanted to be a jockey. Brilliant. Well, you did a great job there today. And Andy, uh, our trainer, not a bad day for you. I know I've interviewed you before because these Shetlands are the stars, aren't they? First, second and third today. Amazingly. So, yes, <laughs> surprising. You seem to have the best horses in the stable. I'll tell you what, we'd be looking out for you if you had thoroughbreds as well. We've got racing ponies. Bradley is the Pony Club champion, um, racing champion this year. So um, we do lots of racing training. And they and really well as well, don't they? With them. <laughs> I bet they do. Well, look at him. He's a star, isn't he? And it's great to raise so much money for Moorcroft today. This is a really important day. Brilliant. Yes. Well, we're really pleased to be here. We've had a lovely time. We love coming. Fantastic. Well, we'll have to look out for both of you. And, and well done to you, Gemma. Congratulations. Our winner of the Shetland Pony Race here at Plumpton.